5 Reasons Why You Should Switch to Algorithmic Trading If you are still trading based on TikTok signals or any social media signals, blogs, articles, uh, newspapers, I don't know if they exist anymore, but if you are basing your strategy on these kind of signals, then please stop. Stop wasting your money. In this video, I will explain to you why you should switch to algo trading, what are the mistakes to avoid, and some tips to pay attention to. First, we need to define algorithmic trading. Algo trading, sometimes called mechanical trading, whatever the calling is, basically it's a set of exact rules for entries, exit, position sizing, stop loss, profit target, managing the trade in between, switching on and off strategies, all that done before you deploy your strategy in the market. Basically, there is a rule for everything that the strategy will encounter in the future and the computer execute that code without any emotion. So from that definition, it already looks good, but let's look at the advantages for algorithmic trading. Advantage number one, speed and accuracy. Because the code inside a computer, so the computer can calculate fast, so let's say you have an indicator or you're looking for divergence, whatever the logic is, the computer can calculate that in a fraction of a second, send the order in another fraction of the second, then stop loss, profit target, uh, exit, all that attached to that signal again in a fraction of a second. So speed is extremely, extremely uh, high than any human being can do. Also the accuracy, the because it's again it's computerized, so the accuracy is extremely high, of course assuming you did the code correctly. For example, if you're trading discretionary, you might enter the number of shares, the number of lots, you, you inevitably you will face some errors. And if you are trading discretionary, you, you know you did this already. <laughs> Advantage number two is diversification. Because again, the code is computerized, so now you can trade more than one strategy. In fact, you can trade hundreds of strategies because now the computer takes care of everything. You don't need to monitor 100 charts. You don't need to look at that screen because the computer is calculating everything in a fraction of a second, sending orders, receiving orders, and therefore you can trade more strategies, more instruments, and therefore you can diversify your portfolio. Advantage number three is no emotions. If you are a discretionary trader or even algo trader, but with interference, <laughs> so you know this already. So even if you have your logic in your head and you're trading discretionary, then uh, emotion will creep in, uh, be it fear, greed, uh, fear of missing out, while uh, with, by trading with a code, then there is no emotion. The computer will exit with a stop loss. Uh, <laughs> there is no emotion, at least yet, because AI is still, still dumb. Advantage number four is time saving. Because you create everything, so you work on your, on your development, you develop strategies, you combine them in a portfolios, you test for robustness, you deploy them in the market. Once they are deployed, you are free because once it's coded in the computer, that's it, the computer is doing that job uh, on behalf of you. Advantage number five is backtesting. Although this is a double-edged sword, but really without backtesting, you're just blindly throwing money in the market. So at least you get rid of the crap ideas ahead of time and you don't waste time and energy developing that idea. Once the strategy is profitable, then you might look into, okay, is it overfitted or not? Great, many advantages, of course. I just skim the top of the iceberg for the advantages for algo trading. There are, however, disadvantages. With technology, I mean, it's bound to happen at one moment in time where your computer restarts, the signal doesn't go through, internet is down, something will happen because you're using this amazing technology that's a given you cannot get rid of it and uh, really today you cannot live without technology so uh, although it's a disadvantage but really what's what's the other choice you have calling your broker <laughs> to, to place a trade i mean that i did that 20 years ago just to let you know technical skills i mean today really algo trading uh, you can do it without learning to code but really coding will put you like uh, 10 steps ahead of the guy who is not coding. But the nice thing is you can start without knowing it, but you should put it in your plan to learn to code, at least a simple language like easy language. Finally, overfitting is really a drawback of uh, 
uh, algo trading because nowadays the software packages are so powerful that you can click a mouse button and a thousand strategies pops on your screen all of them are profitable the problem is all of them 99% are garbage and you need to arm yourself with the right education on how to build robust strategies and if you want to do that link in the description below but really that's the most important step in your algo trading future career whatever you want to call it is learning how to build robust strategy great now that i convinced you to switch to algo trading you need to know that this is a journey this is a skill that you need to learn it's not a one day one week thing you need to dedicate some time to it to learn it but the good news is it's a learnable skill that anybody can do it now you need to avoid some mistakes during this journey mistake number one is overfitting <laughs> because really that's the uh, most uh, common mistakes with algo traders the people who are just starting in this uh, field this is the most common mistakes which is overfitting strategy but you can mitigate that mistake really easy by arming yourself with the right education <laughs> link in the description below mistakes number two to avoid is you need to be aware of the hidden cost beginners usually they think that there is only one cost which is the commission that you pay to buy or sell whatever the instrument is but there are many hidden costs that uh, probably it's uh, invisible to beginner uh, algo traders so there is the cost of spread and slippage based on uh, market uh, liquidity uh, the time you enter and exit the trade there is also the cost of borrowing so if you are trading on margin or probably want to short some stocks then there is a cost to, uh, to incur on doing that so these hidden costs in most platform they are not accounted for so you need to be aware of them and you need to incorporate them into your strategy mistake number three to avoid is live testing traders get so excited when they build a strategy even if it's a robust strategy they jump straight to the market but you should refrain yourself from doing that first of all you need to test it on simulation mode because first you need to test that your code is correct once you test your code is correct then you take it to live account but you need to trade the minimum size possible so if you're testing forex then you need to go to micro lots because now you want to test the slippage and the liquidity part that we talked about so borrowing cost slippage spread you need to factor all that in and see your assumptions are correct or not if they are correct that's fine you switch to full size if they are not correct then you readjust the strategy and then go to full size mistake number four to avoid is look ahead bias most platforms will let you do this uh, depending on the code but you need to be aware of it so look ahead bias basically where you can see the close before the close happening so it's not available in every single strategy but you will come across of it mistake number five to avoid is micromanaging if you avoided all the previous mistakes your strategy is robust then you need to let the computer trade that strategy you cannot just come and interfere oh the stop loss now is too much the profit target i don't want to leave that profits on the table let me cash in let the computer trade it live and then you can monitor it daily weekly monthly whatever the time interval is mistake number six to avoid is copying other people so copying another trader Let's say you look at my channel and you copy my strategies that I post on this channel. This is good to learn. Yes, it's like a uh, shortcut to learn. You get the code, you can test. Even this is still, you know, it's good. I mean, at least you know the code, you can test it. But imagine if you're following signals blindly, like on these services on the website where, you know, you subscribe $100 a month and they give you a strategy that performs blah, blah, blah. What's going to happen there when this strategy goes in a drawdown? I guarantee you, you are out because you don't know. It's a black box. Finally, mistakes number seven to avoid is trading one strategy. So this is again really common. You build a strategy, you're too excited. You want to deploy it right away. And it's a single strategy and single strategy never makes money all the time. You need to combine at least at least five strategies in a portfolio to trade. 
if you cannot afford to trade five strategies in a portfolio don't trade just don't start trading keep uh, adding money to your account until you'll be uh, able to uh, trade five strategies great we went through some dense information now i'm gonna give you some tips to keep in mind if you are switching i mean not if you are you should be switching to algo trading you need to monitor all your strategies i said to avoid the mistakes not to micromanage but monitoring is totally different so you need to have a database of strategies and be able to monitor them so it's this strategy supposed to trade once a week now it's trading three times a week well something happened you need to check what's happening tip number two keep a database when you're developing what's gonna happen is ideas will pop into your head you start building or let's say you have a data mining package like X sqx you build more and you have good strategies you save them in a data bank then you come back later a week a month three months later and you look at the strategy and you have no idea what was the strategy based on or why is it good or why did it pass robustness testing final tip which is really the most important one i saved it for last most likely you're looking at total profits which is totally wrong don't look at total profits if you look at back test and i don't know it's let's say the strategy made a hundred thousand dollars that doesn't mean anything because you're looking at it after 10 years you need to look at day-to-day -day operation print those trades and see how this curve is going up and down okay what will you do here you just lost ten thousand dollars okay oh after ten thousand dollars there is another fifteen hundred dollar loss what are you gonna do there you you will be able to keep trading the strategy or not you need to have some measure of annualized return annualized risk which is basically making the profits per year equal so you can compare it with other strategies and something like the uh, also performing index that's really good you can compare strategies and another really good metric is exposure so even if you look at a really good metric which is compound annual growth rate and you find out it's 10 percent and you say, well, this is crap. I'm not going to trade this strategy. But if the exposure is also 10%, that means your capital is available 90% of the year to trade other strategies. So don't look at this metric alone. So you have some metrics combined together. This will give you the good, really total wholesome picture of what the strategy is doing and if it's good to include in your portfolio or not and it is not total return of course you might have questions or comments please do so below the video and i'll be more than happy to answer you i do read and answer all questions sent to the channel and if you want to take this further be part of my inner circle where i host weekly live questions and answer sessions alongside the tactical asset allocation portfolio signals the stocks portfolio signals you are most welcome to join our discord server through the link below as always good luck with your trading good luck with your investing Stay safe and I'll see you soon.